we run a thousand hectares of cropping. We're continuous cropping. Uh, we used to have stock, but we've gone all the cropping way. And um, yeah, I'm a fourth generation farmer. I found this a girl from Brisbane. Fifth. Found a girl from Brisbane and uh, uh, brought her back here, and we've we've been farming here since 1997. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying it. Tell us about your farming, your annual crop rotation, and and general uh, way of making money. We're trying to make money with the cropping. Uh, look, in regards to the last few years, it's been wheat canola, wheat canola, a fairly tight rotation. It's been good money in canola. Um, look, we'll we'll mix it up sometimes. We've grown some lupins or some trit, some feed grain, uh, depending on uh, you know what's what uh, the markets are looking like. Can you tell us about your uh, chemical consumption and on an annual basis Too much. on the cycle? Yeah, absolutely. No, and you're right. Look, when I was a kid, yeah, it was fun. We just used to rip everything up and burn the diesel. These days, it, you're right. We um, it'll be a one pass cropping. Before that, we'll we'll do we'll have a herbicide uh, and a fair bit of spraying after once the crops up. Uh, different selective uh, chemicals. Uh, and even now in the summer, in regards to uh, a rain event, we've got summer weeds, uh, we'll go and spray them. And look, even up to, if we've, we've had a couple of events, it might be even up to three times uh, in the summer. So we'll spray a lot windrowing as well. Yeah, at, at windrowing. So look, a lot more reliance on chemical. Tell us about management of your farm chemicals. That's my next job is actually to spray some su summer weed and in regards to managing uh, the chemicals um, you know we really look at differing rotations for the crops which will mean we use a different chemical so you know um, just knowing uh, the different chemicals that are out there you know it's it's good having our agronomists mm. come out and uh, help educate us as well. In uh, late last year, you did a chem cert refresher course. Can you tell us what knowing more about chemicals and their use, and their storage, and and your own safety uh, means to you and particularly to Karen and the kids? Yeah, absolutely. We we have had to actually, uh, I guess, really have a good look at what we do. And actually, going to a chem cert course was actually. You'd open my eyes a bit up when I come back farming in 97 and I guess every five years when we do the course you can actually see a few little changes. Um, so you look a lot of us blokes would say oh, not another course we've got to do but for me look I forget a bit you know so for me coming back every five years it is actually a good refresher. Um, in fact catching up with other local farmers and talking on that day about differing chemicals we use and probably because we're focused. We're focused not just on the crops and sheep and whatever else we might do. We're actually focused on talking about safety on farm. So look, in regards to uh, looking after our, our kids, we want to be doing the right thing. We want to be sustainable. Um, we don't want to get in trouble. Uh, and uh, so it has been good, e even if it means it's a good feed and a day off every five years. Um, Catching up with mates. Yeah. Karen, if I can just turn to you, uh, I understand you come from a retail background uh, and a lot of occupational health and safety. I mean, uh, it might be a pain in the neck every five years for someone to have to do a refresher, but what does uh, a ChemCert accreditation mean to you in terms of the family farming unit? To me, I think it's really important. It um, consolidates your knowledge of chemicals. It also teaches you up-to-date training because you know chemicals can change over a five-year period. So you're learning more up-to-date basis. It also reminds every farmer that their wife and their children, the next generation, that it's really important to play it safe on the farm. And, you know, one of the areas of being safe is your chemical handling. Well, the trainers are good, like John Seidel, he's, you know, um, ChemCert has got um, trainers who are teaching the farmers and other people who need chemical um, certificates. They're very knowledgeable and they understand that this is a work environment and it's not out of textbooks. So, and I understand the uh, training courses themselves are hands-on and 
you get to learn about different nozzle types and calibrations and rig setups and that sort of thing. Can you reflect on that a bit for us? Yeah, and they all help us pass. I, I wasn't too good at the books and I often feared anything like a course. So actually uh, coming to the course with the actual trainers they've got, um, we go through a workbook and, and it's all uh, very easy to understand. And um, yeah, absolutely in regards to, you know, my chemical storage, calibration of a unit, uh, actually really good to go through. Mm. You've previously used a contractor to do your spraying, but that ultimately became a bit expensive for you. Um, how long have you been doing your own spraying, and, and do you feel now more confident using the rig? Yeah, look, I think this is my, my, might be my third season with this rig, and uh, yeah, look, it, it was definitely good having a contractor to do it. Um, in regards to, like I said, a wet summer, three sprays, it was too expensive, and uh, yeah, I've, I've been learning and uh, I guess that was good in regards to going to the course mm. and picking up on some of those things I wasn't doing and relying on a contractor to do, so that was helpful. So overall you would say it's improved your farm productivity and your farm safety and how you manage the overall business? Yeah, in regards to productivity, um, you know, I guess when you think of accidents and doing the wrong thing and how much it can cost you, um, I mean, that's, we're about doing it right. We're about um, wanting to stay in the game.